Hello everybody, it's Fufu here and welcome to another Why You Should Use. Today we will be looking at the fiery cat starter of Pokemon Sun and Moon, that is Incineroar. But before we dive into that today, please go and look at Pokemon's channel. John, do you want to talk about what might be going on there? Yes, on my channel, we will be telling you guys why you should use Decidueye in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Obviously, another awesome starter from Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I think you're going to like what you see there. Yeah, so why don't you go and check that out straight after this video, but let's get right into this one. Design. I really love the design of this starter. In fact, I love the design of all the starters this gen. I think they're all really cool, but I think this one is my favorite. I really loved Litten's color scheme and its yellow eyes with the red and the black. I think it's really cool. It's so cute. And then I learned that it evolved into this badass. He looks like a monster. Uh, some people complained about him coming off of all fours and standing up, but he looks really silly on all fours, so I'm very happy with him as he is. And speaking on how ferocious this Pokemon looks, it, uh, I'm using ferocious, and now I'm gonna say after hurling ferocious punches and flinging furious kicks, it finishes opponents off by spewing fire from its navel. And it's just kinda, it's interesting. It looks very interesting. Just just look how it looks when it, it's using its moves, and it, 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 it's, a, it's a scene, it's something. Typing in stats. Incineroar is fire and dark. It's not fire fighting. Yes, this is what we wanted. We've had far too many fire fighting starter Pokemon. So a fire dark type is great. It's really, really great. We all were kind of concerned that it might happen. It does mean that it's weak to stealth rock, which can be a bit of a detriment, but it's really great offensive typing. And when we're going to look at its stats, that's gonna really play in its favor. And looking into those stats, the one thing that stands out is its speed, and it's really sad because it's, you know, pre-evolution Torica has 90 base speed, and then they're just like, oh, you like speedy mons? Well, not in the Alola region, base 60 speed, have fun with it. So that's kind of sad, and that plus the stealth rock weakness is not the best, but that is where the negatives end because the rest of its stats are really good. 115 attack is very, very scary. It even has pretty usable special attack with 80 if you really want to go on that side. Uh, really decent defenses, which I didn't expect from this. I mean, I thought this would kind of be a glass cannon, but it's got 95 HP, 90 defense, and 90 special defense. So it definitely has some pretty decent bulk. And I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a really kind of, you know, interesting Pokemon. I would have liked the speed, but that's really not going to stop it from being a really scary offensive threat. Ability. Incineroar only has access to Blaze at the moment, which is one of the abilities that all fire starters get. And what it does is when your HP is below one third, the power of its fire moves is increased by 50%. Now, it's very situational and doesn't always come into play, but with the fire types, it's slightly more useful because they can use the move Flare Blitz, which causes recoil, and also because they are weak to rocks, they take a bit more damage, so that it's kind of easier for fire types to get into that blaze range and get the extra power boost. So it's definitely a useful ability, although not the most useful. It does have a hidden ability of Intimidate, which we don't have access to at the moment, but it will be very good at forcing switches, gaining momentum, and it could help wall breaking. Your opponent might have to switch out their off offensive Mon after getting an attack drop and switch into their wall, which you can then do a massive amount of damage to moves. Incineroar actually gets a really cool uh, variety of moves. We're going to start off with the stabs as usual with Flare Blitz, which is a really powerful physical fire type move, which I'm really excited about. And it actually has a, I'm pretty sure it's a signature move, uh, Darkest Lariat, and it's an 85 physical uh, dark type move, which ignores stat changes. So uh, the ignore stat changes isn't going to be helpful every single time, but it's definitely going to help you out in a few battles, which is awesome. And just an 85 physical dark type move is great. To go along with that, you have really cool coverage with EQ, Cross Chop is going to be really cool, uh, U-Turn is really nice on this Pokemon. You know, you force a switch, you know they're going to switch into something that you can't really hurt with either of your stabs, you turn out of there and it's probably going to do a pretty good amount of damage there as well. Uh, flame Charge, get your speed up a little bit, you can set up on both sides, you can just Will-O-Wisp and kind of just phase things out in general, and there's a bunch of other, you know, moves that you could use, you're probably not going to use them a lot, you know, the special stabs with Fire Blast, Dark Pulse, and there's also Leech Life, which is very, very interesting. 
Uh, I didn't see this coming. It doesn't make any sense that it gets that, but I'm not complaining because all of a sudden this is a really good move, and especially when you get Intimidate back. I mean, it's a defensive mon. This could really help you out. I don't know. We'll see how that works. Set idea. So for this Incineroar set, we've gone pretty straight down the line just using a choice banded set. This set, I think, is really going to be very efficient at what it does. It's going to be adamant, max attack, and max speed speed just to try and outspeed what you can with that base 60 speed the moves are flare blitz earthquake which is looking very important at the moment because uh, a very prominent pokemon at the moment is toxapex which is water and poison type which can really switch into this thing quite easily but if you have the eq it's going to do a lot of damage to that it has darkest lariat which is this other stab move which is quite spammable there aren't too many things that resist the dark type so you can spam that quite easily and then you turn to get out of there if you think that something's going to come in that can wall you um, while still doing some damage so this banded set looks like it's going to be quite efficient can break some walls can get some momentum and i think that I, i'm really going to like it and while that is definitely the set that you probably want to use, there are other things you can do. And, you know, two of those things would be Flame Charge or maybe even an SD set. And if you want to get crazy, why not put both of them on there? Flame Charge will really help out its speed. Put up the SD, which is just going to make it such a powerful threat. And then, I mean, you could even keep Flame Charge as your fire move, as with the SD. That's still going to do a decent amount of damage. Put on some other moves like um, Darkest Lariat, maybe EQ just for some coverage, and you may be good to go and get yourself a little bit of a sweep. So there's definitely other things to play around with this Pokemon. It's really cool and I'm excited to use it. So that rounds off this video about Incineroar. Please let us know in the comment section what you think about Incineroar and what you think about the starters in general. And please right now, go over to John's channel to see what we made of Decidueye. It's a very cool Pokemon and we had lots to say about it. So please go and check that out. But all that's left to be said is I've been Fufu, you've been awesome and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.